check one two check one two hello students this is mr wilson you might remember me from the before times when you were students and i was a teacher and i made tutorials to keep you entertained with fun projects and today we'll learn how to make one of these aluminium hats that protect us from all sorts of things including the mind control waves sent from the NSA. So simply take this and put it in a piece of foil and rip it and Whoa! Hey everyone, that was a joke. Everything is fine. As you can see, I'm not in my cellar. I don't even have a cellar. There's no reason to panic. No, but seriously, everything is fine. We'll all pull through this together. Team Tacoma, TKPK, we will stay strong. I hope you're staying healthy, safe, sane. One of the things we need to do during these crazy times is try to stay active both physically and mentally. So we're going to be doing a challenge. Uh, this assignment is obviously optional. I can't make you do any work for me over this crazy time, but I think it'll be something that you will enjoy. I'm sure we're all consuming a ton of media out there watching things on TV and our computers, and that's fine to keep us occupied, but we should be also thinking about trying to make some of our own media in order to keep our minds and our media literacy skills sharp. So, the Tinu. This is going to be a very, very quick, short video montage. Under 20 seconds. All of your shots will be under one second long. It's the pacing of this type of video and the sound effects in it that really make this kind of video effective. So here is the original Tinu video brought to me by one of my amazing students, Tinu. As we watch, notice the fast pace editing and the sound effects with each shot. That was amazing. Now this seventh grade student did this all on his own. It wasn't an assignment. He just wanted to make a cool looking video. So he did. I love that. So he showed it to me after he was done and I thought it was awesome and it would make a great assignment. So I had to name it after him, the Tinu, the transcendent, independent, nonlinear, under 20 second video production. Now one of his fellow classmates said, you're just copying a video that a YouTuber made. And I replied, so what? That's what you do if you want to get better at something. You notice how certain people do or create things. Notice how they do them really well and try to emulate them. Now emulate does not mean imitate. There's a difference. To emulate means to match or surpass someone's achievement. Imitating is just copying. So if your friend wears a leather jacket and you think that's cool, so you get your own leather jacket, well, you're just imitating him. Nothing necessarily wrong with that. But if your friend plays the guitar really well and you're like, that's so cool. I want to learn how to play the guitar really well. And you work on it and you get better, and maybe even better than your friend. Well, you're emulating him. There's a difference between those two words. So we want to emulate the things that we see when we see videos and films that we think, I think I can do that. That's how we will get better. Now, do you think that YouTuber was the first person to make that effect? Hardly. Fast-paced montage videos like that have been around for decades and decades. One contemporary, which means someone who's working now, a very famous director who uses this all the time and has almost kind of made it his own thing, is named Edgar Wright. Here's a great video that shows how this director uses this technique to make things that are ordinarily dull, boring, interesting, cool, and oftentimes funny by using this technique. Again, notice the fast pacing of the editing and the sound effects. My pen's on your head. Not a problem.
and attack water. What? Now, I needed to make a couple examples of my own, so here's the first one I made. Again, notice the fast pacing of the editing and the sound effects. Thirsty. That's the ticket. I also made the second example during my self-quarantining during these crazy times. I used it to have another example, but also to make a more informational post-production tutorial, and also just as something fun to do during this kind of crazy time. So here it is, Ch check it out. Also, again, notice the fast-paced editing and the sound effects. So that's the assignment slash challenge. There will be two more videos following this one. One about how to do your pre-production sheet. Now remember, pre-production is the most important step in any production in order for you to organize your thoughts and plan. And the other will be more about post-production, including making sure you know what editing software might be available to you. Not many of you will have Final Cut at home. For the production phase of your video, you'll obviously need a camera, but many of you probably have access to one already. Now, if you don't have a smartphone, you might have an older brother, a sibling, parent, aunt, uncle, grandparent that you could borrow it from, and the shooting of the video is going to be the shortest thing, so you won't have to be using it for very long. Also, when you're using a phone, please make sure you're shooting like this, which means landscape mode. Never shoot video in portrait mode. Never. Uh, you know, this is, we can get through the coronavirus people. We can make it through that, but this is the sign of the downfall of our society. Shooting video in portrait mode. Only troglodytes and Philistines shoot this way. You can look that up. It's a sign of the end times, people. The worst. So start thinking of ideas. Watch the pre-production sheet video first. Then it would be a good idea to watch the post-production after that. Then fill out a pre-production sheet in order to organize your thoughts and plan. Once you've shot and edited it, share it with me and I will be sharing everyone's videos. Now, if you don't want me to share it, uh, let me know when you share it, when you send me the video file. I'll show you how to do that in the post-production video and I won't be posting it. Otherwise, it will all be posted on the Tino assignment page on my website. So good luck. Hope you have fun and I can't wait to see your work.